We up and running? Good. Right, guys. Mirror signal manoeuvre. Um, lady with a dog. Changed hats, just chopped some logs. Um, so when I get in, uh, I can, I've got kindling. <laughs> Don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's cold. It's really cold today. It was um, zero. So they are right. I've just checked on the car. It's four degrees now. That's what they said. High of four degrees. Oh, 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 oh four degrees. I'm going to go over to the allotment, um, do a bit more trench now because I never finished uh, the fencing. You guys are all up to date with where I got to with the allotment. Um, this should go up uh, allotment Friday. So I think this will be up on Friday, um, this Friday. So I'm going to go over. It's going to be a broken up video. You're going to be all over the place. I'm going to try and go over as much as I can and get the fencing done. Um, and then I think I want to make a um, compost bin out of pallets because uh, then I can dump quite a bit of people's rubbish over there and convert that into uh, usable uh, compost and manure and, and turn it into soil uh, for the vegetables. Kind. Sorry about the camera shake, the road's bloody terrible around where I live. Absolutely terrible. Right, guys, thank you very much for joining me on this journey. And if you subscribe, thank you very much. And if you haven't subscribed and want to subscribe, why don't you? <laughs> Thanks very much. Really love to have you along on this journey. Although it never seems to go anywhere because I seem to be sat in traffic most of the time. What else have I got to tell you? I'm going to try and get... I'm going to try and get a little bit of fencing done every day this week until it's done. It might take me longer than this week because it is so cold and it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. Right, what's to come? So I'm stationary. I can look at you for a minute. I'm at red traffic lights at the road works. Uh, what's to come in allotment Friday? I've got a big box of seed that arrived. Uh, I can't say, I can't pronounce the the name of the seed company i'll get around to it i'll put it on the screen i'll put the seed company name on the screen because i can't get my mouth around it i'm going to do a like seed haul video right now i'm moving a seed haul video uh i know i've got over 20 packets the wife helped choose what she was ordering and they were on discount so it was about a pound a packet i think so she got carried away and there's more than 20 packets of seeds i was a big vegetable grower in my day like when I was in my 20s, early 20s. I'm 48 soon this month, uh, so I haven't grown a lot. So I will be looking for uh, comments down below in the comments for help on what to, uh, what to sow, when to sow it, and whether to sow the seeds um, in seed trays and bring them on, or whether to put them straight in the ground outside and what to cut them with, you know, tea leaves, whether you mix it with tea leaves or whatever. Uh, so I will be wanting help. This is another reason for me being on YouTube because I don't pretend to know everything. But what I do know, I will share with you. And what I don't know, I'm sure you will tell me. Uh, and I will uh, be very grateful if you will tell me what you're doing and how you do it and when you do it. The next job I've got to do is build the compost bins and I've got some Mipex. I don't want to put cardboard down with manure on the top. I have tried it before and it just turns the whole place to complete mess right i know there's a few people from the allotments where i am that are watching or possibly watching so hi guys from the allotments <laughs> give them a shout out right reference to giving me help in the comments i don't have a greenhouse i will be growing all my seedlings um on the windowsills in our house i have done it before and it was very successful i would say doing it I'm very nervous though, that being said, I'm still nervous that it's all going to go Pete Tong. Um, so any help would be much appreciative, um, much appreciated even. I have got a Wilkinson's plastic greenhouse. I never rated plastic greenhouses because they blow away, but I'll put it up, I'll weight it down and I'll put it in, it's okay, I've stopped at traffic lights again. I'll put it on the patio and weight it down, um, try and build some shelf in. I think it's got some shelving in it but it's like rubbishy stuff in it they're not great my initial plan is to sow a lot of it from like the first of march but it's coming up to my birthday now january um mid january 
what do you think I should do? Do you think, because <laughs> I'm getting, I'm quite keen. So there's a car trying to pull out in front of me. Uh, I'm getting quite keen to start the seed sowing now, really. Um, I still f feel, I suppose, it's a bit, I don't want to get the seeds up and growing on the windowsill and then have nowhere to put them. So let me know in the comments what seed compost you use for your seed sowing, because I haven't got a clue. I used to use uh, John Innan's seed compost. Um, I don't know which number, sat at traffic lights again. Um, yeah, which John Innan's to buy. And I think I'm going to go to In Excess, because I used to buy a lot of soil from Wilkinson's and they're shut now, but I'm going to go to In Excess, I think. Because uh, it's another discount store and they've, they, they've got a massive selection. Uh, they're local to me. A massive selection of different compost types. Um, so I think I'm going to take a trip there and uh, maybe I'll do a haul video or just show you what, I'm, what I bought, you know, when I'm seed sowing. I, I, I want to be seed sowing soon. Um, before Wilkinson shut, I bought a lot of their stuff uh, last year, 2023, for the um, allotment, uh, runner bean canes, and I've got seed trays, I've got um, seed divider trays. Got to the allotment and it's still freezing. It hasn't warmed up any. What's up, peeps? Let's go dig some trenches. Lovely bit of sunshine, though. Tell you what, there's normally a lot of people over, they walk in, not like me. Should start jogging over later on. Oh, I can't see, not even one car. I expect there's people over here, though, but... Ain't no cars over here. Four degrees, that's not cold, is it? Right, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Digging some trenches. Let's go, I'll set you up somewhere. On a tripod or something. Nice view of Wimble Minster from the allotments where I've parked my van. Peeps, I'm gonna have to move them slabs. They're right in the way where the fence needs to be dug in. So I'm gonna move that and trench all the way along there. And I've got a trench all the way along there, all the way down there. Then I've got to move all these bloody slabs that I put here so I can put the rabbit fencing in the ground along there along there and then I'll decide whether to put the slabs back down or not I'm not sure but it's two o'clock I'm not gonna get much done but I'm gonna make a start so I'm gonna stick you on top of this bin here and then you can see what I'm up to a rhubarb starting to come up already that you start forcing that now can you that's mad Guys, sun's in my eyes, sorry about that. Um, I forgot how much I hate doing rabbit fencing. Nightmare job. Nightmare job, nightmare job. Right people, so far so good. I've got to go across this grass path and put the turf back in afterwards and then I meet with obstacles. So I think myself is move all them out of the way where the fence has got to go. 
So, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Right, Pete's trying not to get too wet, won't you? That's starting to tidy that corner up a bit now, isn't it, I think. It's a proper bit of grafting, this is a proper bit of grafting. <sighs> Look at that, that's better where the bin's gone, isn't it? Just got to find somewhere for the manure heap and then add it to that manure heap somewhere out of the way. It's starting to look, uh, definitely looking a lot tidier. Right, I'm going to get and dig that bit of trenching out to match up with that. God, if I can do one strip every bloody day after work. Hello, Mr. Robin. You come for some worms? Come and have some worms then. Bit of a fight breaking out. Hello, mate. You all right? That gives you some idea how close I was. <laughs> Reach out and grab them. They're on my scarf. They're everywhere. God, loads of them. You guys are not camera shy, are you? Right, Robin's everywhere, one on my shed. Loads on the posts. Fighting over the, turn the compost. I should probably spread it out a bit for them before I go. Look at that, bit of excitement for them, isn't it? Compost freshly turned, yeah. Oh, I think he's pooped on my blue barrel. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. See, I put that spade there just for them. Right, well, that's enough for Robin watching, isn't it? Get back to the digging, Steve. They're fighting over territory. Well, fighting over the food.
I say it's harder than it looks. You didn't like a bit of a lot on Friday, eh? The birds are going to have a field day with all these worms I'm digging up. Mr. Robin's already here. Uh, Mr. Robin's already arrived. Plenty of worms. Plenty of worms. Some good soil. Let me know if you've got an allotment, what you're up to at the minute. Keep them warm by the fire. That's a good shout. Hello Mr Robin, is that worm good was it? <laughs> <laughs> 